All right, so we're doing some shell method practice where it says given the region contained by x equals 2y minus y squared and x equals y, find the region rotated uh, around the x-axis. So if we're doing shell method around the x-axis, remember that is that the volume is 2 pi from the endpoints a to b of the radius times the height dy. So if it's around the x-axis, we want everything in terms of Y. So let's draw this out. So in the past we've already graphed x equals 2y minus y squared. So let's see if we can make it work here. So we had two x, excuse me, two y intercepts at 0 and 2 and we had a vertex at 1, 1. So we should have a sideways parabola. I know it doesn't look very well. Okay, And then we have a straight line, y equals x. And I want to really accent this. Sorry, that doesn't look very straight. Um, but I'm trying to show that there is a region between the straight line and the parabola. Okay. And that's the region we're going to take around the x-axis. So this other line was x equals y. Okay, so we got that little sliver in there. Looks like the very edge of a circle if we drew it correctly. So let's see if we can write this up. So volume equals 2 pi. So everything's got to be in terms of y. So the y um, range here is from 0 to 1. That's where it hits out here at the vertex and back at the origin. Uh, the radius is going to be y, that is from the line of rotation out. And if you plug a y value in, you'll get a height. So the radius is y, but the height will be the parabola, which is the top of it, which was 2y minus y squared minus the line, which is the lower end of the height, because this direction right here, from left to right, would be the height. Uh, the blue line would be the top of the height, and the green line would be the bottom. So the height would be the difference between those two, so it looks like it would be y minus y squared. Okay, so we'll plug that in. Of course, dy. So let's see here. We've got our radius. We've got our height. And as I rewrite it and clean it up, we've got the volume of 2 pi from 0 to 1 of y squared minus y cubed dy. Okay. So let's integrate that. So we'll have 2 pi and then we will have 1 third y cubed minus 1 fourth y to the fourth and that'll be from 0 to 1. Okay. So let's evaluate now. Let y equal 1 so that would be 2 pi times 1 third minus 1 fourth. And then we're going to subtract off by letting y equal 0. So that will be 2 pi of 0 minus 0 goes away. So 2 pi of 1 third minus 1 fourth. I think that's 1 twelfth. But if we get common denominator, it would be 4 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. So yeah, it'll be 1 12th times 2 pi, so 2 pi over 12, which is better as pi over 6. All right, good job.